Hello, in this video I want to show you unusual Martian craters that I found while exploring Mars. There are thousands of craters on Mars and many of them were formed from impact many millions years ago. Today, thanks to modern technology, we can fly over them and look at the consequences of these collisions. This bird-like crater that was nicknamed Martian Thunderbird was formed due to an oblique collision with asteroid or a comet that hit Mars at a low angle many million years ago. At the moment of the impact, the majority of the debris was ejected towards the top of the image, where we can see raised plateau. This debris protected the material underneath, but elsewhere this material was slowly removed by the Martian wind, creating this high-standing and interestingly shaped plateau. This crater was formed due to impact with the meteorite that struck the ground while flying almost horizontally over the surface. Peculiarity of such collisions is that the debris from the impact tend to send ejecta in two directions to the side of the polite trajectory, rather than in all directions around the crater. Also, there was ice near the surface that sublimated at some later time giving this crater appearance like this crater has feet with toes sticking out of two sides. This outflow channel system was formed by catastrophic floods that occurred sometimes in the past. Their width in some places reaches several kilometers and inside these channels there are islands with streamlined forms whose tails point downstream and indicate the channel flow is to the north towards this huge pit that is approximately 1875 meters long and 1000 meters wide and 500 meters deep.
This crater has a diameter of two and a half kilometers and over many thousands of years its appearance has been significantly altered from the usual round shape appearance we associate with craters. This happened for several reasons. First, this crater is located in the area that was dominated by volcanic activity in the past and it's likely that the crater fill material is volcanic in origin and possible that the rim was etched by lava, either flowing into the crater or spilling over after the crater filled completely. Also, there are numerous signs of erosion by wind, like the parallel ridges in the rim breaches and between high standing regions of the crater fill. This teardrop-shaped island was formed first by extreme lava flows and then by water floods. The top of the island displays polygonal pattern ground texture, which is a characteristic of periglacial process in ice-rich ground. The dark material from the island walls are probably dark sand being eroded from an underlying horizontal lava layer. The crater at the core of the island has elongated dunes and reticulated dust ridges inside. This is how a collision that took place in Highlands area looks like. The classic round shape of the crater was deformed because crater edges collapsed inwards like a landslide. Thanks for watching, leave a like and if you want to support my channel, try to play my mobile game. I spent one year developing it. I hope you like it. See you in the next video. Bye.